My name is David. I'm a third year at Rutgers University. Um, my primary studies are in biology and I have minors in childhood studies and psychology. So my research has to do with fruit flies and it's testing uh, whether these fruit flies uh, can be tolerant at these lower temperatures or these cold environments. Um, essentially we're, we're putting these flies through a series of tests to test for cold tolerance. Uh, whether it be mobility, their development, their survivability at these temperatures. So the idea of this um, research is to try to find a way, a certain mechanism that we can extend the lifespan of, uh, of organ transplant and with that to try to uh, make a better uh, chance for uh, people that actually need, need the, the organs. Um, and ultimately we, we want to evaluate um, whether um, by using genetic tools um, and genetic manipulations, whether we can um, perturb um, their genes and ultimately to actually uh, increase the energy levels. So the major problem with transplants, organ transplants, is that you cannot maintain them more than a very short period of time uh, before you actually need, uh, need to give them to a person to, to, to go to the surgical operation. They can maintain probably on ice for a period of 12 to 24 hours um, so by, by analyzing the underlying mechanisms behind the cold tolerance at the Drosophila level, um, we're hoping that since the genes are uh, really um, analogous or have huge similarities to humans, we're thinking that these, these genes or these perturbations that we're doing can be conserved in higher level organisms such as humans. So once we get the cells in humans to survive um, at these lower temperatures, then since organs are just a collection of cells, we, um, basically these organs can also survive on ice for an extended period of time. And that's really our hope, that these organs that are placed on ice can really go through for an extended period of time so more patients can have access to these organ transplants. The, the faculty here are superb. They're really distinguished faculties, uh, well accomplished in their fields. And it, it's really a true, it's a pleasure and an honor to work with such distinguished faculty. So there is a significant uh, contribution to undergrad research um, they do a lot of work. They do actually an excellent uh, job um, during the year and especially during the summers uh, to promote uh, and to do real research. It was quite intimidating at first, but really once you got past um, that, that, that uh, image of, of what they've done and you really enter into the work, it's quite a smooth transition. Is that they offer summer research for the undergraduates that were in the year, and I took advantage of that. And I so I worked with Dr. Nir Yakobi over the summer with uh, one project. And now, as I'm transitioning to the school year, this was in 2010. As I'm transitioning now, I'm working on a different project with this cold tolerance project. Um, and really, it, it really expands your worldview. It it compels you to ask questions that are that are meaningful and significant um, at a grander scale, especially with these organ transplants. This research is truly uh, significant. Uh, what is important uh, when you look for a job, you look for a career path, is that you will have a good resume. A good resume, um, which means that what do you have to show when you apply for a job? Working in our labs, uh, in addition to, uh, to the experience that it brings you, it also uh, straightens your uh, CV or your resume and uh, puts you on the top of the list when you compete against others.